Hey guys, I am doing my July favorites. So I said I told you guys, I think in a few videos ago, that I was gonna leave my hair down, but you know what, I already had it up earlier and I was like, I don't feel like putting it down. So tonight, we'll have it, in these next couple videos, we're gonna have it up in the bun, again. Just can't stop having my diva bun. <laughs> I love my little diva bun. <laughs> okay, let's get started. As usual, I have a lot, so let me just get right into it. Okay. Let's do Bath and Body Works. Let's just jump right into Bath and Body Works. Okay, let's do my review on this Poolside Pop. Or should I say the repackaged collection? No, I'm kidding. A little straight in the beginning of the video. Okay, so Liquid Sunshine. For me, it's like Love and Sunshine, a little bit of Beautiful Day, a little bit of White Citrus all combined. It smells good, but it's not groundbreaking. It just smells nice. It's a nice spring-summer scent. Mmm, whatever. I don't know. It's whatever. Kino's fresh bamboo, bamboo. Wow, well, fresh bamboo, sun-kissed citrus. There you see, sea salt mist, white jasmine, sheer sandalwood. I mean, I like the names. I like the packaging, but it's just like, it's just I pass on this. It's it's liquid sunshine. It smells nice, but it's whatever. This is the body cream. Liquid sunshine. Okay, next one. The grapefruit splash. My quick, quick review. This one's a little better. This one to me doesn't seem too packaged for me. The keynotes are sweet grapefruit, sparkling mandarin, juicy pear, fresh basil, and pink pepper. This smells like a grapefruit. Uh, actually, no, this doesn't smell like grapefruit to me. This smells like a uh, creamy creamsicle. It smells good. I like it. This is more of a summery to me. This For me, this is more of a spring scent to me. Hmm. This is summery to me. Like a cream skull on a hot summer day. Grapefruit splash. I like that better. Um, Cabana Breeze. The, okay, for me, the cream and the shower gel smell the same. Really, really good. And the spray to me smells more floral, which is okay. And yeah, I don't know. But it smells different to me. The, the Smith smells different than the body cream and the shower gel. Now, Cabana Breeze, the reason why I like this is because it has a strong banana note to me and a note to it, and I love that. Keynotes are Juicy Starfruit, Banana Leaves, Poolside Orchid, Coconut Musk, and Ocean Breeze. Yeah. This smell, smell ooh, to me, smells like at the beach with a little bit more, a little bit of banana scent to it. I'm going to open the big container and smell it. Yeah, I see a little bit of banana to it. <sighs> see, this one is one of my favorites. I like this one a lot. Cabana Breeze. Easy breezy. Beautiful. I don't know. But if I were you guys and I was going to get one thing from the collection, it would be this one. Forget the rest, just get this one. Poolside Pop. This is going to be the superstar of the set, in my opinion. This is everything. This gets to be sprayed on me right now. That's how good it is. Let's do one arm. And you know what? Let's do another arm. And let's do some on my chest. <laughs> and <sighs> Oh my god, yes. O M. G. Okay. Oh my god. Ah, it smells so good. Okay. And it has the flamingos on it. You guys, this one is so good that I, I even have the shower gel to show you guys. The shower gel is so cute. Keynotes are sparkling lime, drenched kiwi, crushed cucumber, pink hibiscus, and creamy woods. In my opinion, Poolside Pop is Britney Spears, and the rest of the collection are just the backup dancers. <laughs> Hashtag no shade, girl, but okay, we got Britney right now in Vegas, and then we got the backup dancers trying to like keep up. No, ma'am. No. Poolside Pop is where it's at, so how you do it, girl? Love Poolside Pop. Okay. So... My opinion, but get pulls that pop. Let's get the rest. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that smells too good. Okay. So anyway, and then this is the oh, I forgot pineapple punch. Oops, my bad. I'm the backup dancer. Oh this one is, in my opinion, what's it called? Pineapple Luau? Golden pineapple luau with a little bit of cherry. 
smells good. I, it's like Malibu Heat and Golden Pineapple Luau combined. And I love both those scents. Why not combine them? But it's just like... It is really good though. I like this one too. This one and Pulse I Pop are my two favorites. And, and then Cabana Breeze in the shower gel is next level. Has more the, it has the most of the banana notes in the Cabana Breeze in the shower gel. Okay. Pineapple Punch. Punch. Keynotes are Fresh Pineapple, Mara... Chino, cherry, water lily, blah, blah, blah. water lily, coconut cream, and golden sugar cane. It is really good though. Anyway, there you have it, pineapple punch. They're all good. It's just poolside pop is lit. Okay, have to start with that. Um, okay, let's just dive right into this. Um, Equate makeup remover wipes, cleansing towelettes. From Walmart brand Equate Beauty. I'm using these, you guys. Those Dollar Tree makeup wipes just weren't cutting it for me anymore. So I'm over those. And I'm back on my Equate. I got two of these. And these have 40, I believe, in one pack. I think. I don't know. Doesn't say here, but I think it's 40 per pack. Yes. Wow, right there. 40. Okay, there we go. Anyway, these are really, really good. They're thicker. I like the thicker towelettes because, ooh, that was loud. Um, because with thin ones, you have to fold it, and then it's like, no, 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 no. So Dollar Tree tow uh, towelettes. Tow ooh. Dollar Tree make wipes. Nope. Equate. Yes. Okay. And that's from Walmart, of course. Okay, this little bag from Target. I hauled this to my summer Target haul, clothing haul, and it is too cute. I just think this is adorable. It's like a little mini Balenciaga inspired bag. It's so cute. I love it. It's soft. It's just a little crook of the arm bag. You can just put it on your shoulder. And, oh. I just love how cute it is. It's like a little baby purse. It's so cute. I love it from Target. So, I have to include this in my faves. This is the loofah I've been wearing, wearing, using this month. Back to the pink one. It's called Love Me Time. Oh, I love me time. Matches my shirt. <laughs> this is from Target also. I hauled this last spring of 2016. Or summer. Anyway, last year from Target. Um, yeah, this pink, bright pink loofah from Bath and Body Works. Been living that this month. Um, okay, so my nails. Everyone has been talking about my nails for the last week or so. Okay, so, um, first of all, the pink nails that I had in a couple of my, um, in my, in my back to school videos that I filmed, back to school Dollar Tree haul videos for school supplies, I had these pink nails and then the tip had the confetti nail on it. Nadia has been doing my nails and she's done such a good job lately. So this is the French acrylic sculpture kit from Bring the Home, Bring the Home Up, Bring the Salon Home. Um, yeah, and it's an acrylic formula. It creates 40 tips. So she uses this kit. It comes with everything, the glue, everything you need to make, to do your own acrylics at home from Walgreens. So I use this for the pink nails, which she did. And let me show you the color she used. So this is that. And, okay. So the pink I used was Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. and needs no light, it's amazing. It stays on so well. It's in the shade 309 Pink Up, and it has microscopic glitter inside of it. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And then for the ring fingers, for an accent, I use this Dollar Tree LA Colors Color Craze Nail Polish. And I like it, but it is so hard to take off your nail that I like it, but I don't think I'll be using it again because Nadia was just like scraping it off and she was like, girl, throw it out. I'm like, okay, fine. It was a dollar, so I don't care, but yeah. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. It's kind of cute, but whatever. So yeah, that's that. And then for the nails I'm wearing in this video, these kind of like French-inspired nails that I showed in my updates video and in my last couple of videos. These are this. From a medium length, bring the salon home kiss, gel fantasy, ready to weld gel, amazing gel shine, ultra smooth finish with 24 nails. And this is the one that comes with the glue you just stick on. 
And it's also from Walgreens as well. Everything's from Walgreens. All this nail stuff is from Walgreens, the drugstore. So that's what it looks like. And it comes with these nails and it comes with the glue and everything. And this is amazing. So that's this. And it's super easy to use. And you're like, you're some fabulous. Okay, so that's that. So now let's keep it going. Oh, wait, one more thing. This is the Acetone 100% Nail Polish Remover. And it's also from Walgreens Studio 35 Beauty. So that's that. Also from Walgreens. So, okay, that's out of the way. Now let's just keep it moving. Um, this L'Oreal Hydrofish Toner refreshes in a splash, alcohol free. I was using the Neutrogena. That one is good, but this is my all time favorite. This is like one of those things I always go back to, always. I've talked about this in so many videos for so many years, but it's been a hot minute, so I mentioned it again. Here it is, what it looks like. It smells so calming, and it's just this bougie bottle. I just love it. Really, really pretty, pink and cute. <laughs> and that you can get like Walmart or anything like that. This deodorant from I think the Dollar Tree. I think Avon Black Suede, either the Dollar Tree or Aldi. Either one of those ones, or nine cent store. I don't know, one of those three. Avon Black Suede Roll On Anti Deodorant Perspirant Deodorant, whatever it's called. Oh, I love this. By the way, the empty's coming soon in August. FYI for that. Okay, more beauty, beauty, more beauty, <laughs> more beauty. Um, okay, this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Primer. So I think I finished the other primer and that's gonna be the empties next month or in August, whenever this is going up, girl. Um, yeah, it looks like this. I wanna finish this up. So I'm gonna use this until it's finished. This is, I think I like it's even better than the other one I use. This is really good, this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Primer. I believe I got this from Ulta a couple years ago. I believe. Okay. Um, lip products. Let's do some lip products. I've been using a whole lot of lip and lip products, you guys. Okay, so when I'm doing my nude lip that I was having, that nude kind of chocolatey lip, I used this, and I used this Too Faced Melted Chocolate in chocolate honey and this smells just like a chocolate milkshake i talked about this a year and a half ago in the favorites i think i was wearing this exact same top when i was talking about it too which is really really creepy and weird oh my god yes it smells like chocolate mousse yes okay i absolutely love it okay it's like this i got from ulta a year and a half ago beautiful color absolutely stunning Gorgeous. So I'm, when I do the, the nudie chocolatey lip, I use that and then I use this Dior <laughs> lip gloss in the shade 227. And you know how it's too small for me, I can't read it. Yeah. But it's a lip, it's a Dior Addicts gloss. I'm an addict to Dior. And I use that and I put it in the middle of my lips. I know, it's so bougie, right? From Sephora. It's in the middle of my lips. Not I'm wearing it today, of course, but in the middle of my lips. And it is just fabulous. Okay. So that's my chocolate nude lip. When I'm doing like a burgundy lip, like a softy rose colored burgundy lip, I'm using the 430 All Night Long from Stay Glossy Rimmel. I don't think they even make this anymore. From, I got it from Target like three, three and a half years ago, and I absolutely love these glosses. Again, this is 430 All Night Long from the Rimmel Stay Glossy up to six hours la of six hours of last and shine lip gloss. It is just fabulous. And the wand is a beautiful wand. It is so pretty. The wand is so on fleek that Harry Potter is shook. No, I'm kidding. I'm trying to tell you I'm 14 again. Oh my god, everything is shook. I'm so shook right now. <laughs> I feel like, okay, if Shane Dawson can say, can say shook every five minutes, I can say shook because he's literally a year, older, year or two older than me, so... If you can say shook, I can be like, girl, I'm shook. <laughs> that gloss got me shook AF. <laughs> God, I sound like such a poser. Anyway, um, now this, I've been talking about doing Instagram, in Instagram, Instagram, no, Instagram Live a bunch of you guys, and I've actually made a huge dent in this this month. I'm using it a lot. Um, this is the CoverGirl M7 Soft Honey True Blend Liquid Foundation. You guys have been asking what um, foundation I've been using this month. And I love how this looks that I am wearing it today. Yay! Right? 
Um, it's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but it looks like you've been sitting on that beach for like hours. I absolutely love that. That afterglow, afterglow, that, you know, vacation look. So yeah, loving that. I just think it's so pretty. Love that. And it's just beautiful, and I love it how it looks on my, I love it and it looks good on my vacation. <sighs> on my vacation? On my face? Jesus Christ, girl, my mind, apparently, I'm on vacation right now, girl. <laughs> so, yeah, it's great, but it is that shade darker than me that I kind of like in the summer. I like that bronzed goddess look, so, yeah, there you go. Okay, now, when I'm doing my, in the beginning of the month, I was doing that kind of, like, bluish, smoky eye, and this is what I use for that look. Oh, actually, no, 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 not for that look, but, oh, for the 4th of July. Oh, my God, for the 4th of July, I used this shadow. It's the Crystal Waters 270 CoverGirl Eyeshadow. It looks like this. You know, I was doing the blue smoky look for 4th of July. Oh my god. You guys, I had a couple vlogs that I was going to put up, but the footage is so bad because my iPhone isn't really suitable for, suitable for vlogging anymore. I have to get a vlogging camera so when I can save up money for a vlogging camera, then I will start doing the palm rounds again. But when I uploaded the footage to my iMovie, the audio and the video wasn't synced up right. So those two vlogs I had, 4th of July and the weekend after, isn't usable. So that's why I haven't put up those vlogs or anything. But... There might not be vlogs for a while until I can get... So no more vlogging, no more follow me arounds until I can get a vlogging camera. So I've set up money for a vlogging camera, and then I can do follow me arounds again. But anyway, but this is the uh, foundation. This is the eyeshadow I've been using for this. With that look, just for the July... Ooh, I'm going to drop everything. Oh. Oh, so I should on my foot now. Oh, my leg, but... Yeah, really, really pretty. Again, this is CoverGirl 270 Crystal Waters. I don't even know if they make this anymore. This is an old palette from like four years ago. Oh, that is so gross. The brush literally has this integrated. Oh, that is so gross. Okay. I have to literally go wash my hands right now. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I have to wash my hands because, girl, that eyeshadow brush had like completely gone whack. But yeah, again, 270 Crystal Waters. Great eyeshadow palette, really pigmented. Love this. How this maybe like six years? It's so long. Anyway, and then for the Fourth of July, ooh, there we go. The stuttering starts again. Fourth of July for the red lip because I was blue and white, and now I needed the red. Oh, you guys, this Milani lipstick in 07 Best Red. This is the best red. Look at that ruby red. Oh yeah, that is absolutely stunning. So that was on my lips for 4th of July, and honey, baby, I looked hotter than a firework, honey, honey. So that was gorgeous. This is the packaging. Milani lipsticks are bay. They're so beautiful. I, I like a good gold packaging. You guys know that. Oh, randomly, back to the nails. So this is the top coat. Oh, there we go. The top, the top coat for the gel. Um, by Sally Hansen. This is what it looks like. This is what I use for the pink nail look. That's some Walgreens as well. Okay, for gloss, if I'm just doing like a natural gloss, um, this month I did Sashi and Chic from Dollar Tree. Lip gloss, and it's just in this orangey white shimmery look um, gloss. Sashi and Chic, love that. And then the pink, um, oh, when I was doing the hot pink lip for the smoky eye look I did at the beginning of the month. I use this CoverGirl Lip Perfection in 235 Splendid, and I just line and fill my lips with this. Talked about this before, maybe like a year ago or something, I guess. I don't know. That's really good. And then this 365 Enchantress, and I've had this for at least four years, four and a half years. This is a beautiful hot pink lip, 365 Enchantress. Again, I don't know if they make this anymore, but it's the beautiful Barbie pink and it's just absolutely stunning so yeah there you go okay actually I don't know what look I have that in I think I don't remember but I know I used it this month so I put it in the favorites now this I bought because I needed like an, uh, a blush so I'm using it for blush but it's actually an eyeshadow from Wet n Wild I got like a week ago from Walgreens and this is a beautiful beautiful um, well I guess blush but I'm using it for eyeshadow Wow. Eyeshadow, but I've been using it for blush. And it's like a plummy, like kind of like a um, rosy pink soft plum with shimmer. Beautiful. But again, I haven't used it as an eyeshadow. I use it as a blush. 
So I didn't even know what's up. I was like, oh, this is the cutest little small blush. It's eyeshadow. Beautiful though. Wet and wild. Again, Walgreens. It's like a mini Walgreens haul, I guess. <laughs> okay, and last for what's in here, for the July, I use this blue necklace from Dollar Tree. Really pretty. Okay, so everything in there is finito, finito. Oh, this is random. For the nails, this is the nail stuff for the, yeah, nail clippers. and Got this kit from Walgreens as well. Just stuff for the pedicure. Using that up too, to buff the nails, file the nails. Also from Walgreens. These Dollar Tree makeup bags are so cute. These are also good for maybe like pencil cases too. Back to school, I hauled this in Dollar Tree haul about a week or two ago. This says gorgeous, love this. And this says, killing it, because you know I'm always killing it. Hey, girl, hi. So, living for those this month. Let's do some makeup palettes. The two makeup palettes I've been obsessed with are old school, but they're fabulous. Naked 3 Urban Decay. Absolutely stunning. We all know what this looks like. So I'm not going to get too, too into it, but yeah. Cover the mirror so I don't blind you, but yeah. Beautiful, pigmented, gorgeous thing. And before you ask, yes, I want the Urban Decay Heat Palette, and I will get it hopefully next year. <laughs> um, Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is the original. Ooh. Okay. This is the original. I have all of them so far, I believe. The Bon Bon. Do I have the Bon Bon? I think I have the Bon Bon, too. Cover the mirror so I don't blind you, and just never gets old. Beautiful looks. Great pigmented. You know, yeah, you, yeah, you get it. It's a good palette. If you don't have it, get it already at your local Sephora or Alta, they still have them in stock. So there we go. Chocolate Bar Palette from Urban Decay. Oh wow, from Too Faced Original and then Urban Decay 3. Fabulous. Okay, more makeup of course. One and done. Hybrid Perfection Com oh, Perfector Broad Spectrum SPF 20. Urban Decay Naked Skin and this is a foundation in medium. Using this a couple weeks ago, really enjoyed it. The coverage is okay, but I think this is BB cream or foundation. I think this is like BB cream. I don't know. I've been using it pretty good, so there you go. <laughs> this one, oh my god, I love this foundation. It's so good. The Tarte Amazonian Clay. We've heard this a million times from everybody, but it's just good. It's dirty. I apologize, but yeah. It is one of the best foundations ever. This one, the Laura Mercier. Okay, this one, the. Ooh. This one, the Laura Mercier, the Makeup Forever, which I want to get again, and the Mac Studio Finish, Studio Fix, and. Oh, and the Cap on D are the best foundations for coverage I've ever, 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 ever used. So I love them. They're great. Amazon and clay. You look like a Barbie doll. And then I pulled this out randomly this month. I'm loving it all over again. The NARS. My NARS blush kit in the usual stuff. Got this maybe six years ago. I love it. It comes with the Orgasm Blush, Albatross Highlighter, and the Laguna Bronzer. And you know what? I forgot how fab this is. Oh my gosh. The bronzer I don't really use. But you can. I don't know. I don't really use it. But I use that. That orgasm blush is beautiful. And this highlighter is gold AF. So, yeah. Comes this cute little zip block. Oh, I love NARS. Oh, I can't wait to start doing, like, more high-end makeup hauls starting next year. I'm excited about Alton and Sephora hauls. Who missed those? Those will start in January. And hopefully, yeah. Uh, 130 Buff Beige Powder. Maybelline Fit Me. This is another good powder. I've talked about this before, but I'm not sure again because I use it this month. And it's a great powder, and hopefully I'll hit pen on this soon so I can get more. No, 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 it's good. Maybelline Fit Me. Great line, the Maybelline Fit Me foundations are good. Okay, sunglasses, you guys. Oh. Oh, one more polish. Oh, this is my Tolio polish right now. It's gorgeous. Also from Walgreens, this is the Sinful Shine with Gel Tech made in USA in the shade Too Cool for Pool, 1625. It is like a periwinkle blue or something, kind of like a light blue and a violet, like a lilac purple, like married, with micro glitter or something. It's just gorgeous. Like itty bitty, the hot pink glitter in it. It is just so pretty. It's crazy. 
And then these two sunglasses I've been loving this month. Let's put all these little containers away. First one is this white one I wore. This was July. Oh, what is that? Oh, there's a like hair on it. Lovely. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I got this from NYC. It's like, I guess, like a... Those cheap sunglasses you can get by them on the street corner. It's just so pretty. They're like in the market. And then this black one from the Dollar Tree. They look like Dior's, but they're a dollar. And they're not... Love them. Love those. Okay, and that's it for makeup. So now more accessories. This pool bag. This pool bag from Target I got a couple of years ago, I think. Two years ago, maybe. Beautiful. I use this on the 4th of July because it's blue and white. Beautiful from Target a couple years ago. And then for clothes this month, oh my gosh. Okay, so let's first do this tie-dye romper I've been loving from Target. I got this last year. I think last spring. It is beautiful. It is Massimo size large. I love this. I would love to find this in a couple more colors. It is just so, fits beautifully on me. Very flattering. Has that cowbell neck here. Oh my gosh, I love this. So pretty from Target. Again, last spring of 2016, I got this in a haul, did in a haul. And then 4th of July inspired this poncho. I hauled this in my summer Target haul. And I wore this in 4th of July. It is just beautiful uh, spring summer poncho. Acceleration M to large. Beautiful. And these shorts are also from Target. I hauled this in my summer haul as well. Size 12 Massimo high rise shorts. Massimo with the American flag detail on the pockets. Beautiful shorts. And they make me look so skinny. Okay, that's it for that. And then we'll end with the random favorites. I think this video will actually be a normal length for once. Can you believe that? I know, right? Shocker. Okay, although we're not done yet, though. So far, it's like, what, 20 minutes long? 21 minutes long? I don't know. Okay, uh, TV shows. Key and Peele on Comedy Central. Those guys are so funny. Now the show is, is over now, but I'm just catching the, into I'm just getting into it. Not they got me into it. But the point of this is their sketch, Megan and Andre. Oh my god. So Megan is pretty much the more extreme version of me. Um just look up Megan and Andre on YouTube or Google. M E E okay. M double E. G-A-N and Andre. Oh my god, their goals are so funny. I love them so much. Yeah. Okay, uh, movies. How to be a Latin lover. Oh my god. So, this is about this, like, Latin gigolo who, like, his sugar mama dumps him and he has to go back to live with his sister and he, like, I don't know. It's a really, really good movie. Go watch it if you haven't already. Bad Moms. I never saw the original. The, new, the sequel comes out this Christmas. But Bad Moms is amazing. All I gotta say is, Christina Applegate... Crying in a Range Rover. Best scene ever. Um, Beauty and the Beast. I finally saw Beauty and the Beast. It only took like, what, six months? Really, really cute. I really like how they did it. Emma Watson is the perfect belle. And, yeah. Love it. Music. We have random stuff. Okay. Uh, Pie. Future featuring Pris... Pris... Wow. Future featuring Chris Brown. And the song's called Pie. I like that song. Sabrina Carpenter. Why? Sooner or later by Aaron Carter. I know Aaron Carter's had his issues this month. I apparently got arrested or whatever. And his mugshot. Oh my god, I dropped my phone. It scared me. I don't know why. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, right, I'm sorry. I am so extra. What else to do? Um, Aaron Carter got arrested. Yeah, he got arrested. His mugshot is over the web or whatever. Um, that sucks. It, it sucks that he's going through his issues again, but whatever. Um, wishing all the best. But the song Sooner or Later is so good. Check it out. It came out like earlier this year by him. Selena Gomez, which is Gucci Mian fetish. Great, 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 great song. Mysteries, Bad Habits. I heard it. I like the song. Uh, and then the Chainsmoker song, Honest. Love that song. It came out like last month or like in June. Okay, Crush. Of course, Andre, Megan's boyfriend. In the sketch. Love Andre. Boyfriend goals, in my opinion. Um... 
this guy on Instagram, okay, this is the Instagram handle, B-E-E-N-O underscore Peters on Instagram, he's an athlete, 21 years old, he's Dutch, lives in Amsterdam, perfect body, he's smart, he studies physics and astronomy, so in my way, I'm like, girl, he can teach me physics and there'll be some chemistry, hi, I know, right, um, he has beauty and brains, and he's just so hot, just look at that, oh my god, he's so hot, god. For crushes, uh, clothes, um, everything I showed you already, and I'm going to be doing a favorite clothing um, pieces video. I think I'm going to do that as well. Coming up. Like, most worn favorite clothing pieces. That's been requested, so I'm going to do that. By the way, let me know in the comments below. I also got requested to do that least favorite bath and body work scents video, but all my least favorite scents from bath and body works, I ended up returning them about a month ago. So I don't have a lot of them to show you guys in the video, so I would literally just be telling you about them. Do you want me to still do the video if I just tell you what I don't like, or do you want me to not do the video because I don't have the product to show you in the video? Let me know in the comments below. Should I still do it or not? Because I don't know. Okay, uh, so if you want me to, I'll still do it. Again, it's the Lead Favorite Bath & Body Works video. Lead Favorite Scents from Bath & Body Works. I don't really have the actual scent to show you because I returned them. So. Anyway, again, let me know if you want me to do the video, let me know, or if you want me to not do the video anymore. Okay, in the comment section below. Um, okay, so Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid, cover of Vogue, and this is iconic. Their cover of Vogue for this month, or in June or July, whatever, August, is so iconic. I put it on my Instagram, it is beautiful. Zayn and Gigi look so cute together, I'm just like, oh my god. Oh my god, I know that it got some controversy, that cover from, I don't know, but I don't care. The cover looked good to me, whatever. Ugh. Um, okay, yeah, that's it. Wow, this video I think is, what, 24 minutes long? Maybe 25 minutes, which is a lot less than it was the last few months. So, there you go, I actually have a decent fever that isn't like an hour long. That's the first, okay, for a while. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this favorites video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to join the Fierce and Fabulous Dealer Squad. Let me know in the comments below again if you want me to still do the least favorite Bath and Body Works scent video because I don't like how I don't have the actual product to show you. I returned it all from Bath and Body Works, the, not, the ones I don't like or not planning to use. But I can, of course, just tell you in a video which one I don't like and why I don't like it. But let me know if you want me to do still do the video or not. Uh, yeah, leave your comments in the comments section below. Thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to my channel. All the fun stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Until next time. Bye, guys.